In our department, we've uh, integrated technology in the classroom to benefit student learning. Now, um, I just want to showcase some of those examples in this video and talk to the teachers who've used different strategies to either use the iPad or some form of technology to support and push forward student learning. I think with all things technology, really it's a tool to enhance student learning uh, and support teachers with their teaching. So um, really a lot of it's been the hardware that you've had a platform that you could record on. So the use of iPads um, as a recording tool, the use of recording both video, recording audio, recording written work, um, creating videos for flipped learning where students could go back and look at the concepts and how you've explained them. Um, I think um, little things like students who are sick they can get real-time notes as the teacher uploads them and, and shares them with the class. Um, a lot of these things have been um, able to support students with their learning. They were quite excited and uh, they were like oh wow this is really good especially with um, uh, previously I used to write the notes on the whiteboard they did take pictures and uh, they put it up uh, like you know they uh, either copied it out or they printed it out. But this is good because with good notes, I can actually uh, use the textbook. I can put in my own notes uh, on iPad and I can save it as a PDF file, upload it on ManageBack. So what I do is every class note or every, um, every class has its own notes. So it's all up there. So at any given point of time, if a student is absent or if the student hasn't understood something, they can always go back there, look at the notes. Three of our teachers have uh, started making their own videos on YouTube uh, and that's a fantastic example of uh, students learning in their zone of proximal development. And it's personalised because these teachers have taken upon themselves to make videos on concepts and skills that kids can go and review, learn uh, in their own comfort zone uh, and, and then come into class and explore you know, deeper explorations of those topics. Um, as a conversation he was sh sharing with me what he'd been doing with the video and I said look one of the things that the video is great it's put together really well you know it may be worthwhile the math department investing in this and we have some recording devices in the elementary and I was able to get a short-term loan for him to um, experience and play around with the microphone. You know with the iPad what I like about it is you can send the lesson whatever you do with the kids instantly you know, before they are out of the class, they already have the lesson uh, on the Google Classroom. So the use of iPad is definitely helping me a lot. And very recently I've also started making videos. Again, inspiration is Mr. Sen here. Since I'm using GoodNotes, what I do is I make the kids work on the iPad. So they are solving the sum and, you know, and they prefer doing it on the iPad. And they see the result in there. I mean, they see it. it's instant feedback for them. So using the iPad has helped a lot um, just to get examples of the students' work up onto the board really quickly. So I'd take like a picture of their work, use it as an example, use it as a model answer. It's helped me to kind of instill those expectations for notation and presentation with them as well and the nice little competitive element of who's, who's going to get the answer on the board. I can annotate it, I can add things to it and then I can share it directly back with them with the whole class. So it's giving that freedom of uh, you know having things on Google Classroom. They're either uploaded through things from GoodNotes or different areas, or using sites like Edpuzzle and MathSpace and different interactive sites where they can just go ahead and you may have students on three different tasks within the class because they can push themselves forward at their own pace uh, and then they can get their own support by using other things so I'm not running around like a headless chicken after 22 students because a lot of them are supporting each other through the different resources that they've got available to them as well. We use the iPad, good notes in the class to teach for normal teaching and I find it really really useful because I make it a point that I prepare for the lesson, I set up everything on my good notes, everything is pre-planned, everything is set on the board, so it comes like that. And the best part of it is, uh, at the end of the lesson, you are able to send the class notes to the whole class, and in case a student is uh, uh, absent, he has missed a class for some reason, he has the class notes ready with him. And so, uh, he really doesn't miss out on anything. So that's the best part which I like about uh, using iPad in the class. Uh, so much more interactive, the students get to write on it, do it on it, I can showcase the students' work 
um, it's excellent. I really enjoy it. I'm very thankful to Atik. Uh, he's the one who actually encouraged us. Uh, kind of he was forcing us in the beginning, but then I really started enjoying after uh, we started doing it. So we got the iPads in the right in the beginning of the year or maybe just before school closing and uh, had a look at it a little bit here and there during the summer. But then um, we went to Atik, he took few lessons for us. Uh, he gave the tips and how to make the best use of the iPad which we are really enjoying in the class now. Uh, so we have these lovely iPads that uh, Mr. Hussein acquired for us last year that we have been using with the airplanes to uh, project. All right. So simplifying the first part, we've got four <coughs> times two to the two X minus 23 times 2 to the x plus 15 is equal to 0. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not the easiest quadratic in the world to solve, but it's not impossible either. Okay, I, I still haven't actually done it yet, so can I okay. do someone else do this? Because I already messed up. Recently, when we were doing um, uh, statistics and using Google Sheets to create um, you know, graphs and diagrams and things, they, they're already using it in so many different like, classrooms or already were using it in elementary. So it's nice for them to, for that to be their second nature. That's their new pen and pencil in a way. I, I think you always need you know, paper, in, paper and a pen as well, but it's good to have that resource available to them. And it's, it's what they're used to and it's what they will be using in the future. So it's good for that to be the norm for them now. I think our use of technology is now becoming very organic and it's a part of um, what we do and not something extra. And so I, I would like this workshop to be uh, an example of where we can push technology in a seamless way to support our students in uh, you know, pushing education to the next boundaries.